Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will be playing the ultimate Doom the way it did, episode 2, map 2, filtration compound. Today we have episode 2, map 2, filtration compound. And I have already played this map blind, but it turned out to be a bit too confusing and I spent far too much time looking for secrets, so I decided to do a practice run instead. At least it will be more fun to watch, I think. So let's go, first I want to get some weapons. And when you press in this switch, these stairs will lower. So then we can proceed. Nice kill. Right. Then in this room we can get more shells. And there should be a first lost soul in the doomed way it did. And of course I'm taking damage here. Right. In this room we can grab the green armor. And there should be two cacos outside. Let's snipe them with the shotgun. Come on. Right. The ones who wants to get all the items, there are four health bonuses here. Right. Oh, nice. Bullets. I actually haven't seen them before. Right, so this switch opens this wall, so then we can proceed. Then we have a few imps in this area. And I will save this mini kits for later. Another last soul, and need to be careful, there are a few imps behind. Then let's go here and snipe these shotgunners first. Is it quite annoying? And this one as well. Come on, show yourself. Also pretty nice midi. A bit calm and a bit intriguing as well. And we'll need the radiation seat to grab these shells. We can get it later. Right, plasma and two more imps. Let's kill these guys first. Actually, I need more shells. I didn't want to grab that medikit, but that's okay. Here we have our first secret. The supercharge. Nice. Then, yeah, there is a red key, but we can get it a bit later. Right, next I want to grab this chain gun. Then we can chain gun these guys as well. Right, don't forget about these armor bonuses. Everyone counts. And then... Let's move on. I see some lost souls there. I think another one as well. Let's see. Yeah. Right. Then let's go and grab the radiation suit so we can explore a bit more of these damaging floors. Alright, let's just shotgun these specters first. And this one as well. This was so. Right, up here we have some ammo. Yes, please. I oh, know. If I stop running to projectiles, it would be great. Ah, right. Then we can press this switch here. Then let's just snipe the sims as well. Nice caco block in the view. Come on, go away. Annoying thing. And this should be okay. So then we can press the switch to rise this bridge. And then let's grab the radiation suit and go for some secret hunting. So there is a secret here. There are only like armor bonuses here, but it's stuck to the secret, so we have to grab it. Don't jump down here because it leads to the starting room, and you don't want to backtrack that much. Then we can grab this plasma, and there should be some more shells here. Right. Actually, you know, in this level you can get 
two weapons. Actually, you can get only one weapon. Uh, there are two weapons in the room ahead, but you will have to choose only one of them. We'll see. As you probably guessed, it is Plasma. And second one, yes, you're right, it is the Rocket Launcher. And personally, I think the Rocket Launcher is better. There are no places where you would need emergency plasma. Rocket launcher in general is a bit more effective. And we have one extra radiation suit. Right, so since we raised this bridge, we can proceed to this room. By the way, this area is completely optional. You don't have to go there. There are some rockets and ammo as well. So this switch lowers the pillar there and this cock I don't remember where it come from I just kill it now all right then this room there should be a few souls yeah and I think we killed all the hits gun here some more plasma and in general I think this level gives you more rockets than plasma. So anyway, it's better to go for the rock launcher. Right, so there's nothing to do there, unless I forgot any of the items, which I don't count anyway. But then let's move on. And another cocoa. Pretty nice area down there, actually. It's like uh, marble walls, of course. And I see a fake wall. This Kako tries to shoot me through the fake wall. Maybe there are two of them, actually. Yeah. I'll deal with him later. Let's move on. So, we have the blue key here. Nice. Uh, the simps. We can snipe them now. Let's use the chain gun. It's a bit more effective. Right. Then let's go through this room. And yeah, we've been here already. But we cannot grab the red key yet. It still awaits us. I'm almost out of shells. There are some shells here. And here there will be a bridge at some point. Right, let's grab the radiation suit and go. This switch, by the way, just lowers the bridge so we can go up again. Then there should be one couple and a few imps. And I think I'll switch to shotgun now. Perfect sniping tool. Right. Next, this room. This imp was asleep for some reason. Right, let's, let's kill these imps. Was they annoying? Then, shotgunner. And finally, the Kako. And I'm running out of shells again. Let's just chain gun him. Right, then when you look over this line dev here, this will lower so you can rise it up again by pressing this switch. Right, so this blur sphere is a secret. We can grab it later. But for now, let's move on. So actually, let's go check the secrets first. So first of all, you have this room. It's the invincibility, and it's quite useful if you want to grab one of the secrets here, actually I think two of the secrets without being damaged. But we'll get to it a bit later. First we need to take down these guys here. There's two assaults and I think three specters and one imp. Yeah. And as you see a lot of rockets. Well, maybe not a lot, one box, but in general I remember there was a bit more rockets than plasma in this level. Right, this is a fake wall. 
So then you can press the switch, which should open the path to the invincibility. Right, let's kill the sims. And there should be a shotgunner on this side. Right. Some more rockets as well. Then, as far as I remember, by pressing this switch, the teleporter should appear here. Right, so now it's teleporting this balcony. And then, we can go grab the invisibility. But before we proceed, by the way, this is the level lowered, so that we can lower this elevator again. And this level is pretty generous on the fake walls, because this is the third one. Is yet another secret. Right, by taking this teleporter, we are getting the mega armor. Right, I already forgot about it. And then finally, we're going to grab the invincibility. Be careful when you grab it, because when you cross the line of after this door, the platform where the invincibility is will start to lower, and if you don't tag the secret, you will be never able to tag it again. Because the platform lowers and changes the sector type, I think, or it's just uh, removes all the tags from the sector when it's fully lowered. Right, well, we still have the invincibility, let's go here. Because here we have the damaging floors. And also... Let's do like this, and there is a switch you can open for this room, and here you can grab more rockets, but the crash will kill you. Well, not kill, but will damage you a bit if you don't have the invincibility. And now we can grab the secret floor sphere. Right. So I think that's it for this area, so we can move on. This room, and here we have our weapons. And this damaged Kako. Last one left, and this is a room with the crusher and the rockets we've seen before. Right, so we see this is a fake wall, but you should go through here to rise the platform, and you get to choose only one weapon. Interestingly, this room actually has two switches right there where the skulls are, and if you press them, this platform will lower again. So you technically would grab the rocket launcher and the plasma at the same time, but it is not possible to get onto this ledge, so it's not possible to grab the both weapons during the normal playthrough. Right. Maybe it's for the multiplayer, I think? Who knows? Just a fun fact. Right, now we are on this side. One imp here, and now we can grab the red key. And of course I didn't avoid taking the damage. Right, and this switch will rise the bridge here. Then we can move on to the red room. Should be some specters here. Right, and then we on this side. Cool room, by the way. Right, and let's kill this imp. Then we can drop down. And there should be some imps, which you can easily miss. I think one here. And two here, right. Then this switch probably rises the bridge. Okay, it just lowers the wall, so we can go up and escape if you want. Right, and that should be the exit. Let's check the stats, and we got everything. Perfect. Let's go. That was Filtration Compound. I would say it's pretty complex map for the blind playthrough, and pretty awkward and well-hidden secrets, because I didn't find any marks that there were fake walls. Alright, see you in the next level.